Hello everybody and I hope you're having a fantastic day and in this video I'm going to be talking about the huge update they came out with that they just came out with some of the stuff not being actually in the web notices so not like these notices like in game I'm talking like web notices so I'm here to cover at least far as I know what's going on with this update and what's not okay so we got main quest added so we have more main quests added so they're pushing farther and farther to the six rings i believe they're coming out like right after rgbn's so i i think they're gonna come out with that i'm not 100 sure it's subject to change or any of that stuff but i seen like somebody said it in their motto or something like that so they might be adding that and then we got an exclusive pet, pet egg gift we have a special egg they they came out with in japan or something like that i believe right here all you gotta do is chat with your pets to earn an exclusive egg you only gotta chat with them five times and you're legitimately good to go so that's all you gotta do turn that exclusive new year's uh lunar year pet egg or whatever it's called i have no clue but anyways moving on from there yeah okay so all you gotta do is that it ends at 217 you could also spend one gem to increase your pet capacity by five up to a maximum total of 30 pets so it looks like they're gonna add be adding more stock pets now and you could spend one gym to increase the capacity create more pets get more gear score off of that and yeah so that's another tier of adding gear score is now pets you gotta get a lot of them though you gotta get a lot of fruits and what's not and to start off I'll talk about that in a second, but they actually have something where you can get fruits pretty dang easy. Anyways, the cosmetic shop now has some of the returning gear um, that they had before. I've seen some some people wear this before, but I haven't really seen it too much lately. I have seen it in global, so I do know it exists beforehand. So they added it back, so if you're interested in this stuff at all. Personally, I'm not, but if you're interested in it, you could go for it and grab it yourself. The item shop is back. I love the item shop. The item shop is legitimately the king of all things they have to offer in use of league. Not really, but oh, smokes is up there. Orbs for three gems. <laughs> so beautiful. So beautiful. Orbs for three gems. Passes. Two passes for one. Oh man, premium make five for two. Oh, so beautiful. Look at the prices. They're, they're so amazing. It's going to make me cry. Anyways, yeah, the item shop's back. We all The thing we all know and love, legitimately, not being sarcastic whatsoever. Then we got guild battles underway. Oh man, I'm, I'm really hoping right now. I'm really hoping I can get my team together for this. Because if I can, we have a chance. We have a fair shot at making it to the guild grand tournament. I'm not even kidding you. I, I really do hope we can get our team together. And it all works out in the end. I, I really freaking do. I honestly really, 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 really do. Because we really do. With the resources we have. With the people we have. As long as we're fairly active enough. As long as we hit the activist tier. Which is 2 to 3 guild battles for some of us. And then 3 to 3 for a, a number of us a day. We have legitimately a very, very, very fair shot at getting the Guild Grand Tournament. We legitimately have a fair, fair, fair shot, like a really high shot of getting to the Guild Grand Tournament. I'm not sure if it's going to work out, but I really, 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 really do hope. If it isn't, I got, I, already, I, I know the mistakes I made, and I'll make the proper adjustments. But anyways, I really hope I can get my te team together, because we do have a really fair shot at getting to the Guild Grand Tournament. But anyways, yeah. How this is going to work out is it gives you Legend Battles and Gravita Short, Gravita Sword Crest. Good stuff for the um, Awakening, for the Zeno stuff. Zeno stuff being stuff that you absolutely want to have at its maximum because it offers a really nice skill. Skill that buffs your t uh, stats of your uh, weapons and what's not. And it, it just really, 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 really helps. So yeah. They back out with that, and if you don't have Nulls, then they have Legend Medals for that as well, and that's very, very nice. So, they offer these types of rewards within the, uh, Rare Tournament and what's or not. So, if you, uh, you perform your best, if you're definitely looking for that stuff. And even if you aren't, they do offer, um, uh, they offer downgrades and upgrades to blocks. So, you do want to perform your best to make sure, they show it right here, the position you have to be in. It was so not so you definitely want to do your best if you want to at least remain or be promoted okay next up we have is the new town feature with the large scale fishing update they came out with that you probably all been waiting for and what's so honest okay so here's how it's going to work and here's what i know about so far if you want me to make a separate video on it i can but i'm just going to be going over the details i know for this video and what's so not and all that okay so pretty much how it's going to work out is actually i will 
be right back. I'll actually explain it on my way there. Okay, so now that I'm here, I can show you myself how this is going to work out. Okay, so they have a uh, manual a manual feature for fishing and an auto feature for fishing. If you just tap the water and do this right there, that's auto. You don't even have to do anything. It's just straight up auto. See, right there is doing it for you. It is an auto feature, so that's very, very nice. And it will continue to do so, it looks like, until you... um. Never mind. You, you gotta go back and forth. So, yeah, they have an auto feature right there. But I would recommend doing it manually because if you're finding a tough fish, you're definitely going to want to do your manual touch. And when you, you sit right there, I got perfect. There's a difference between the nice and a perfect catch. You will notice that sometimes you'll get nice and sometimes you get perfect. If you manage to get a perfect, it's going to be a lot easier to catch the fish. If you get a nice, it's going to be a bit harder, but it's still definitely possible to catch the fish. That's the only difference between a nice and a perfect catch. It's like if you play Pokemon and you use like the old rod, the new rod, the uh, super rod, the good rod, whatever they have, pretty much you just throw it down, you tap. You wait for the little shadow of the fish to appear. As soon as you see the exclamation mark, you keep tapping it until you catch the fish. And that's pretty much how you're catching the fish and what's it on. Uh, some of you might not have your rod equipped, so what you want to do is tap right here. Uh, equip your bait. Your bait's right here. Equip your rod. Your rod's right here. I'm not even sure what this bottle's for. I'm assuming it's like rates up for like certain fish and what's not. But yeah, you have that right there. And if you want to switch real quickly, all you got to do is go here. And you could sell your fish right here and what's not. And I'll explain how that works just in one second if I can. There it is, the shop. Okay. The shop over here is where you can get more items and what's not. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to really play out like whatsoever like at all. But I personally myself would think that going for the steel rod would be the best choice. Maybe the or the shrimp would be better to be fairly honest. Uh, I, I think the shrimp would be better until you get the steel rod then I would start working on actually farming because that way it's going to be a lot easier for to get these drops of ether and if they manage to update this more and more and more there's going to be more weekly rewards you're going to be able to obtain if they really go in with this fishing thing so you definitely want to prepare if they come out with a bigger update for the fishing and then they got the passes over here so if you're definitely missing those this is a great way to do that as well but yeah uh, but all you gotta do to obtain the material for the stuff is sell the fish that you already have, as you can see right here. Um, the higher the rarity, I think, because this is, these are all normal, but I think the higher the rarity, the more they will give off. I'm not 100% sure it would so not, but that's I, that would make the most sense to me. The higher the rarity, the more they're actually going to give. To increase the rarity, uh, there's multiple things you want to do. First one is you want to have better lore than the original lore you have. Uh, lure not lore and then you want to have obviously a better rod than the original one you want you have So those are the first two things. I did not mean to click that but might as well fish again and then the next thing the next thing is uh, The time right here not exactly the time I, I don't even know empty bottles existed but anyways not the time but the time of the day right here it shows you that it's like sunny so there's probably going to be like multiple weathers like there might be rain and what's not but i know there's going to be the sun and the moon which pretty much symbolizes the day and the night so that's also going to determine what type of fish you're going to be catching for when you're actually out there fishing so those are pretty much the things that are really going to determine whether you're going to like the different types of fish you're going to catch is your rod your lure and then the time of the day that's far as i know about fishing and what's not so that's pretty much all i can really cover about fishing right now and also 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 I, before i actually end this i'm not 100 sure where you get lore from but i do know so far they've been offering it as law like the by like yesterday by yesterday's data they've been offering it in whoa okay they've been offering it and uh the uh daily login bonus so that's very very nice but anyways yeah but moving on from there um but anyways yeah that's all i gotta say about fishing so yeah that's pretty much how that's pretty much the rundown of pretty much how fishing works i'll explain fishing deeper in detail in a later video if i need to but i'm just going to explain it as much as i can for that and what's not okay so we got the new Un lunar new year campaign ap recovery packs are back potential lock packs are back metal packs are back a login bonus is back they don't have ether awakening packs but that's all right because potential locking packs are paid and AP recovery packs are paid as well. And then we got Lunar Year box spawns as well. And yes, these are very, very nice compared to like what they did with the update. 
they added more pets and because of that they offer these fruits in here this is a 50 box spawn and this is yourself you're doing this yourself so it's very very nice that they offer this and what's not in here because that just makes it very very awesome they have a 25 cost or higher ssr guarantee ticket so if you're new to the game that's also very nice and that's very helpful and what's not and then we got the event right here stop that little piggy um they have overall um, rewards, and then they have item exchange rewards, and I'll go over that in a second. Let me go over the monster real quick. 36 cost, uh, ability power 200. It only hits once, so that's not a lot of damage. And then its ability is not too good either. It's a regular uh, event stat sticker. It gives around as much as, around as much as, whether it's a little more or a little less, it gives around as much as a 33 cost monster with uh, its awakenings and what's not so yeah that's pretty much how much these 36 give around it's not going to be like 100 percent it might be a bit more it might be a bit less but that's pretty that's pretty much where i found out how much gear score these things give you if you fully awaken them compared to a fully awakened 33 gem spawn cost monster that is i, I didn't mention that so it's a 33 cost gem spawn monster okay so let me go into more detail about this okay so they have overall rewards right here. They show you pretty much this is everybody working together to obtain the same rewards, the same ladder, and what's so not right here. And then they have the exchange items. They offer items, these peach ovens. They're exchange items, so you can exchange all that stuff right here. They don't offer, it looks like, no uh, weapons, no cosmetic weapons, no cosmetic armors. They only offer overall rewards, and then they offer you stuff you can get within the exchange. You can get the monster within the exchange, and what's so not. Uh, they have to have a different method, so hold on. Let, let me see if I can find that. Okay, so never mind. It looks like the subject scroll, after a while, they do the first type, second type, third type, fourth type thing. And then after a while of doing it, it the uh, amount of cost that it takes to get the peach emeralds increases. So pretty much the cost to exchange it increases and what's not. I was very confused because I'm like, this is not the only way you can obtain the subic scroll. And it, I guess it is. I honestly guess it is. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much how you're going to be able to get the scroll. It's, it's going to be excruciatingly hard. And for the monster that it is, I really don't recommend it unless you really interest in the grind or you really need the stat stick and you think you can do it. It's a really, really gruesome process. It really is. Like, extremely gruesome. But anyways, moving on from there. When you first start off, it's pretty dang cheap, to be fairly honest. Drops of Ether and Awakening War pieces are 70, at least for the first time, so that's very, very nice. I'm personally probably going to do this for the one drop, one Awakening or piece, and then I'm going to be doing it for the Tapsies, because I really need to get those plus values for my gear score of 740k. About to be 749k very, very, very soon, once I get the augmenting material. And yeah, it's pretty much what I would be doing it for myself. You can do it for whatever you want, whatever purpose you want, but I'm telling you, uh, those scrolls are going to be very, very gruesome farm, and they're not the best stat stick in the world. They're literally the casual event stat sticks that they usually have to offer, and what's not. Honestly, you can do a step up spot and you get the right monster, 33 cost, 45 gems, or SSR feature gear piece, even better, or monster spot, even better, better, better than that, 70 gems. You're getting way much more of a better deal, and it's going to be way much more stronger, ability-wise, and it's going to give more stats, so... <laughs> I honestly don't see the point. It's extremely gruesome. Just save your time and use your time for something else than something as gruesome as that. Seriously. I, I don't really see him being way too worth it, to be fairly honest. Unless you're, like, after, like, the side stuff, like said. But it's your choice, and what's not. Thank you for tuning in, thank you for watching, and I hope this helped out, and I will catch you, and then- Oh, wait, 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 before all that. And the last things about this update they didn't really tell you about, but they added in the first place, is the very, very first one, is they allow you to see your rank right here, your story mode rank, so that's very, very nice. So if you want to see people's story mode rank, they offer that right here. They're making player data a lot more transparent. I feel like eventually they're going to, like, you could tap the main slot and then you could see the rest of the arbors that the person has on eventually. Not right now, but eventually. Like, they're making it extremely transparent to see what a player has and what's not for their sets. And, yeah, that's pretty much that. 
Uh, they offer also new faces within the uh, Grand Metal Exchange. So the new faces, well not the new faces, but the new hairstyle and the new eyes are here. So if you missed out on that, because they didn't say much about that at all, it is here as well. And what's it at? I feel like I'm missing something. And the last thing, the very, very last thing before I actually end this video is if you look at the spottable gear, AI is retweaked, so that's very, very nice. Uh, looks a little bit cleaner, not too much, not too very, 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 very special. Let's see if the guarantee works for this one right here. Oh, it does. It doesn't tell you the rates, but at least it shows you what is actually guaranteed within the list and what's not like over here. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this helped out, and I will see you in the next video. This is the Azra. I'm out. Peace.